AI image generation is coming at us fast and furious. And as photographers, should we be afraid of it or should we embrace it as a new tool? I choose to embrace it. Are there areas that are going to be affected? Absolutely. But change is coming and we need to adapt. But it's not going to stop our enjoyment of photography. But who's going to be affected? Well, these I think these are the areas that are going to get hit the most, particularly the first three, advertising, product photography, and stock photography. However, for me, illustrators, artists, graphic designers, I also paint watercolors. For me, it's a great way to generate some ideas for compositions that I can then fine tune or just use as inspiration to create my own. And for me, one of the most exciting things is the new film and animation tools that are coming along soon. So back to our story. I am in the middle of creating a music video for a friend of mine. Had no budget, was just doing it as a favor. So the way I illustrated this music video for my friend was I generated all the characters in Mid Journey from a beautiful young red-haired woman who was a great love of his whose life started to really kind of fall apart when alcohol and then drugs where she got to the point where she was making late night buys and then getting into pills and all kinds of drugs which eventually end her up in jail and it's something that continues to happen through her life while her erstwhile suitor his life falls apart too until he finally gives up I think this is a great way to illustrate a story and if I'm working on some books now this isn't a book I'm working on but I just imagine from reading some uh, some Celtic fantasy stuff kind of this Celtic witch with her raven and I thought the imagery was beautiful but I could also use this as inspiration for lighting and props if I wanted to use them for a real photograph and then oh I got some dinosaur hunters I don't know why I did this I think it was mostly for a grandkid and kind of an interesting scene although this guy apparently he's in real trouble so anyway but for product imaging, this is something that's going to be affected a lot. Now, a lot of products are actually illustrated by computer. There's a lot of car commercials where you think you're seeing a real car, and it really isn't. But stuff like this is the kind of thing that you're going to see generated by AI as it gets better and better. In fact, this morning when I was just putting together this little slideshow, I asked Midjourney to generate me sort of a futuristic kind of teapot in a white room with pictures of flowers blurred in the background in a white in on the white wall and this is what it gave me and really it's frankly it's stunning and again just for a product image i asked it to generate a flute sitting on a stand in an empty concert hall and i got a flute now i actually play the flute and when i saw the one it generated which was this well you would need about eight fingers on each hand to be able to play this thing but anyway most people would notice if they're not a flute player I also like generating backgrounds for videos and green screen. So I could film myself on a green screen and use stuff like this as the background. I could just appear in front of it and I could light myself appropriately. Or maybe it's a product. Maybe I just want to put something on this table. And then I asked to also ask the software to show me a camera on a tripod looking out over a lush green mountainous scene. And that's what it gave me. And again, stunning. Now, I have been working for some time on my science fiction story. It's gonna, it's still got a long way to go, but it's helped me generate some inspiration by generating characters and some of the like things like spaceships and places. For example, this guy sitting having a, I don't know what he's drinking, but kind of in a sort of a Blade Runner inspired background. I wanted an android for my spaceship, so there she is. She's more robot than anything else, and quite beautiful actually. And then I even generated some aliens talking to some of the characters in the book and this was all again generated with a text prompt in mid-journey and then of course i have the mysterious council we got to figure out what they're up to and then a couple of the spaceships that enter into the story as well as some interior scenes something like this also without the guy could also be used as a background for watercolor painting for my painting I came up with this, just kind of a mountain scene with a, uh, a tugboat. I'm obsessed with tugboats. I have some model tugboats that I could use and place in a painting in a scene like this. And then getting a little bit sci-fi with an odd ring appearing in the sky in this scene. Again, completely mid-journey. As well as futuristic cities. Again, which will help me illustrate my, my book that I'm probably going to initially 
uh, send out as an ebook, as well as sort of an alien volcanic planet. So the bottom line is, don't stop creating. Don't let the new tools hinder you. Embrace them. But remember, when it comes to our photography, everything that happens really is a once in a lifetime thing because the light's constantly changing. What we're looking at is changing. So don't stop and don't stop creating.